Hello and welcome. I'm Riversoft Art, and I'm really excited today to talk to you about an upcoming product of mine. It's Turbo Loader Booster Utilities, an add on product for my popular Turbo Loader products. So, Turbo Loader, if you don't know, is a series of products that turbocharges DAS Studio for users with large content lo libraries and need to load figures. By disabling unneeded morphs from your figures, you can see dramatic speed increases in loading scenes and figures and even clearing scenes. Uh, so that's fantastic. However, it can still be a little cumbersome with Turbo Loader to set up and enable certain morphs for you know uh, your content as you work with content and scenes. And this is what Turbo Loader Booster Utilities is designed to address. It helps manage your different turbo loader products as well as provide on-demand enabling of Morse when loading assets. So let's get started. So if you've installed turbo loader um, booster utilities, you would be in scripts, Riversoft Art, turbo loader, and you have eight icons. One is the manual. Uh, another is something you've seen before is install um, the turbo loader products as either um, items in your favorites menu or on the toolbar, which you really need to do for turbo, turbo loader booster utilities. And then six other scripts. So first I'm going to go back to before turbo, turbo loader and what you would do. So you would have a um, figure you would want to load. And you would select it, say AI, and you would double click and wait. And we're going to set the timer and speed this up because this will take a while. OK, so we're finished. Let's pause it. Uh, and it took around two minutes 30. <laughs> That's not bad, but it's still not great. Um, now let's zoom in on the head so we can show her a little bit better. Now, here's something I don't do, I didn't used to do when I didn't have turbo loader. So I have this great figure, but I go, oh, I didn't want, i.e., I wanted someone else. I wanted, uh, let's see, I guess just choose anything. We'll go with Blaze. You would double click, say replace, or apply this character, the selected figure, and wait even longer. So we are turning on the, whoops, and we'll wait. Oh, it finished. <laughs> Wow, this is the longest I've ever waited for anything. So that was somewhere in the 37 minute range. That was extremely painful. <laughs> okay, so it finally loaded. This is the old way, and that's a great example of why I never do that anymore, or I didn't before Turbo Loader. So let's. To save time, I'm going to kill uh, Daz Studio because I can't take it anymore. So you're not supposed to do this, but I'm tired after waiting almost 40 minutes. So, all right, loading Daz Studio back up. Now with Turbo Loader. Um, what you would do, and let me get the one for Genesis 8 female, is you would scan, you would disable all the morphs. So you would go under here and you would uncheck all, and we will execute. And this will take a little while. Okay, 
So we've disabled almost 18,000 morphs. And what we would usually do with Turbo Loader is we'd load up. We wanted IE. So we would find her. Um, where is she? Right there. We check that and we just execute selected and 14 were enabled. Okay. So now we select IE. And let's bring the timer back, clear that out. All right, IE, you know, we had said, okay, let's load her, bring up the timer, we run. And it was so long ago, I think it was, a, it was two minutes and 30, two minutes, somewhere in there. And this will probably be 20 to 30 seconds. All right, we've got her. Uh, I'm going to have to blur out some of that. And now what you would do is like, okay, I actually wanted that uh, Blaine character. Something like that. Blaine, Blake, Blaine, Blaze. Yes. So you would uh, start Turbo Loader. You would uh, enable it and uh, blaze and then run. But Turbo Loader Booster Utilities makes it awesome. So you can just select this and then just say, okay, I want to execute or open this file, open this asset and inspect it and find all the morphs that are needed by it and turn it on. So it goes and it finds all the morphs, turns it on. We get the standard DAS Studio apply. We hit accept. And that was quite a lot less than <laughs> almost 40 minutes. Uh, so it's awesome. Uh, now it's, uh, you know, exploring different characters with their textures and everything else is just really easy. So that's amazing. Um, let's see, what uh, other things? So that's the open file. You can also do things like merge. So the open and merge work with whatever's the selected asset in your, your scene. And it could be in the content library or it can be in uh, you know the smart content. So we could say, okay, what I want to load is my turbo loader main scene here. Uh, or let's do the female so we, we know. And this time we're going to merge in. So it's going to scan the scene, find all the morphs, find all the morphs that are needed by that uh, morph, etc., and load it in. And merge this scene into our current scene. And done. Let's move her over. Um, so there we go. Really fast, really easy. Now there is a limitation. So what the open and merge file do is they look in the file that you've selected uh, say, okay, I find all these morphs. Let's make sure they're on. Let me inspect those morphs and see, you know, it could be like a control, like a Charlotte control and say, okay, well, let me see what's morphs inside that. Oh, the Charlotte control controls the, the head and the body morph of Charlotte. Let me enable those. Let me look inside those, etc. And it just keeps going down the rabbit hole. Um, but it won't find 
JCMs. JCMs are engaged by your um, your pose. And so what you really need to do with the open and close is make sure your JCMs are always enabled. So going back to this, um, we would load this. And you know, it, it's too late as these are loaded, but um, just to show you. So you would go and say, okay, I want to make sure I've already got, um, because they're reserved products, I already have the starter essentials, which have the standard JCMs and expressions, but I also want the bend control. So I would check that, execute selected, that turns on 119, and those are always going to be available now. Um, and what, what you can do is you can see this, uh, this um, limitation by the inspector. So the inspector, if if we go and in the original turbo loader you had the scene configuration. So if we ran the scene configuration, let's clear out the scene. And this is fast because all the morphs are off. Um, let's go back to the scene. And what the inspector, if I we select this person and we click inspector, um, you have a choice of adding what's in the selected presets to your current uh, inspector configuration or making a new configuration. So we'll do new. And it goes and basically looks at all the morphs that it finds just as you would do with the open and merge. So it found, you know, some expressions that were used, some JCMs, um, some starter essential stuff, and then of course the Tune Princess. Um, and at that point you could say, okay, I want to make sure enable morphs for this scene. And it would go through and say, okay, uh, well all of these are already enabled so nothing was changed, but you have that. But as you see, there's three products that are found and it's, you know, uh, it does a good job. But if we load this scene, all right, if we load this scene, uh, the scene inspect, uh, scene configuration will give a, a different result. So if we scan the scene, It finds a, a, a few different things. It finds, you know, um, all these different JCMs under B Babina and the Ben control, etc. So the scene ins configuration actually does a better job, but you have to load the scene. Um, and mostly it's just finding the JCMs. So as long as you have your core set of JCMs enabled, like Ben control and, and the starter essentials, you can just use the open and um, open and merge. So those those are those three scripts right there, and they I installed them as part of the install custom actions to the uh, favorites menu and to there. And oh, one of the things I should mention about the inspector um, is that it can take and inspect a lot of stuff. So we could say, okay. I want to inspect Blaze, and I control click blue at the same time. And it let's make a new configuration. And it inspected and found um, Blaze and blue and all the morphs used, including starting essentials. And you could save, if you click OK, it gives you a name. You could then, you know, save this configuration to be used by the um, the turbo loader configurations. Um, one other thing that I should mention, so the open is great, but the thing it won't do, so we can exchange figures, but what it won't handle is shapes. So if you go under shapes, you have all these different shapes. And what shape files are is basically setting some properties. 
So if we had, um, if I don't have any there. Let's find Adriana for Victoria. Oh, I don't have the uh, filter by context on. Uh, bodyscapes. There must be others. Why am I only finding that? Um, but if you look at the shapes, they are basically just setting um, values here. And it's not actually loading a figure. So even though the open uh, um, will work, it can't set these things. Or, or it will, um, the open and merge file, Turbo Loader Booster Utilities, will find these, these uh, properties and say, okay, I need to engage these uh, morphs. I will make them enabled. But Data Studio won't load those. Um, so it, it really doesn't work. It's better that you, you know, do this before you load the figure if you want those uh, um, shapes. And um, other, th I think I'm, oh yeah, I already mentioned for inspector, you can select multiple things and it will add a s inspection for those. So the last um, scripts I, I mentioned before are the enable, disable, and execute. So just to show you, um, we could then say, okay, I want to enable all of them. And you can select which ones of your products. And so we'll do it for the Genesis 8 female. And it will go through. It loaded behind the scenes, the settings, uh, the morph list, and then just enables them. So it's much faster than going to tur Turbo Load or Manager without even thinking that you have to do it for all the products. There we go. And similarly, disable all is the same thing. And then the execute is if you, let's say we went through all of our figures and we made a configuration that basically says everything's disabled, but my JCMs that I really like. So let's see if Ben control is, nope. So this is, let's show enable only. Yep, it's the only one in there. So if we save the settings, it's in there. Everything's disabled except Ben control. And we would do it for all of the other ones. And then with Turbo Loader Execute All, it will actually execute that specific configuration, the currently configuration for each of the products that you check. So in this case, it's disabling everything, um, but not just the starter essentials, it will be enabling the uh, bend control as well. Okay, and you see the numbers actually a little bit higher because of the bend control. Thank you for watching. I hope you will like Turbo Loader Booster Utilities. I love it. Um, have a great day.